Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie reporting for the media speaks. Um, do me a favor, go to my last video and check out the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Do you know it costs a fortune to mail Dunce Caps to people? So please, I ask only one thing, well two things, that you watch it, that you share it. It's the Fukushima update. I am not a physicist, but I followed this more than just about anyone that I've found on the internet. That is not to say that there are people that follow it better. I just don't know who they are. Um, my sources beyond what I read to you are Chris Busby, uh, Lauren Moway, Arnie Gunderson, Miss Milky the Clown, Kevin Blanche. These are people that I'm asking you to read if you're watching this, because if you're watching this, you trust me. Let me share something with my listeners real quick. There are two people, I don't know if they have a kid, but there are at least two people that are moving from Japan because of the information that I give on this show. I told my brother the other day, DJ Aaron, passing time, I told my brother that I don't think I've ever done anything in my life that is as important as what I did to convince those people to move out of that poisoned area. Having said that, my Fukushima updates are as factual as anything. I'm not playing. This isn't a game. I know it's a show and there's three-point lighting and... The, this isn't a game. And I'm, I take my role very, very seriously here. Having said that, thank you for trusting me that much to give me the, the views that you do. When I do a Fukushima update, it blows up everything else I've done on the site. And I thank you. I will promise you the most factual news that I can give you every single time. I do anything, obviously, but on Fukushima, there are a lot of people now in the world that are watching what I do, and I will always mind what I say. Um, before I go into the, uh, the depressing news that I have, and, and none of it's very good, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a shout out to, uh, there are a few CDs that came out, KMFDM's Kunst, Nine Inch Nails, Hesitation Marks, uh, the new Frontline Assembly, whose name just went whoop, out of my head, but I love it. And uh, Skinny Puppy's Weapon are by far and away the best CDs that have come out for the entire year. You could argue maybe the new Lamb of God and the new Black Sabbath. Those are both very, very good as well. Uh, also, Aesthetic Perfection has released a really strong uh, single. Guys... Uh, before I get into the seriousness of Fukushima, do you know there are lyrics on the new Skinny Puppy CD, it's called Paragon, that deal with Fukushima that are like so poetic you can't even... I'll tell you what, I'm not going to go ahead and, and, and read them to you, I'll go ahead and sing them to you the way he has them. Sure, the season seems so clean. A filibuster dusting all the CCM leaves. A low-grade dose of a rabbit up the sleeve. A card trick release from the pretty fuel fleas. All right, that's my skinny puppy impersonation. Those are some insane lyrics. A filibuster dusting all the cesium leaves. A low-grade dose of a rabbit up the sleeve. In other words, trickery. In other words, a rabbit born with no ears, which actually happened in Fukushima. A card trick release from the pretty fuel fleas. Of course, there was a nuclear release. A card trick would be the magic of them saying that it's okay to go out in, you know, Fukushima, Japan. It's fine. Lady Gaga said it was great. Guys, if someone leaves a comment, I'll sing the whole song online. How's that? Um... That's my, my plug for the day. Check out those CDs, uh, and they're related to Fukushima. And I started the show with a little bit of fun and silliness because the news I have sucks. Okay, I'm not like the Grim Reaper. I'm not the god of doom and gloom or anything. The Fukushima report is so bad this month that I've got, for those of you that follow the show, there will be two. I'm doing one tonight and I'm doing one tomorrow. There's too much for me to get to in one show. And I hope you enjoyed the silliness of me singing uh, Skinny Puppy songs a cappella because 
the news is not good, guys. I started it that way on purpose because it's about to be a downer. TheGuardian.com Fukushima radiation leaks reach deadly new high. This is uh, posted today, yesterday. It's uh, 9-5-2013, 4.38 in the morning. Been posted within the last 15 hours. The crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has radiation leaks strong enough to deliver a fatal dose within hours. Japanese authorities have revealed as the government prepares to step in to help contain toxic leaks of highly toxic water at the site. On Wednesday, it goes on, the country's nuclear regulation authority said radiation readings in near water storage tanks at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have increased to a new high with emissions above the ground near one group of tanks were as high as 2,200 millisieverts per hour, a raise of 20% from the previous high. Guys, I, I meant to do it tonight. I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'm going to post about exactly what radiation does for the people that are just blocking me out. My mouse just attacked me. For, for people that are blocking me out and think that none of this matters, radiation not only kills you, Radiation keeps you alive for a long time, it makes you miserable, and makes you sick. These levels that I'm talking about in Japan will be coming to the United States. It will be grown in the food that you eat, okay? And it will be shipped all over the country. California raisins. Seafood. I DJ Matt. I love him. He's a the DJ where I work. He's freaking amazing. I came in there today. He's a bodybuilder. He's sitting there eating tuna. Eating tuna is a death sentence. You're radiating your muscles. And guys, this matters. That's why I'm talking about this, and that's why I'm out here. I'm going to go on with this. This might be kind of a long report, and tomorrow is going to be a long report. But if you guys are going to trust me enough that you'll be willing to move from a country because I report because of what I report, I will continue to report, and I will give you the facts as they come to me. Again, theguardian.com. Earlier this week, the plant's operator, TEPCO General Electric, for those of you that wish to boycott, said workers had measured radiation at 1,800 millisieverts an hour near a storage tank. That is massive. Okay. That was the previous highest reading since TEPCO began installing tanks to store huge qualities of contaminated water that have built up the plant. Now, one of the things they do, and they love to do this, and I wish I had called the video up, and I'm going to remember to do so tomorrow, God willing, because... When they don't want you to know what a radiation reading is, or when they just didn't have the forethought uh, to go ahead and make the, the levels higher, uh, the meters higher, they install meters and things that read radiation that can't go higher. Let me, let me describe it to you this way. Judging by where I can see myself on this screen, you can see about up to here. All right, that measures the radiation up to that point. If the radiation happens to be up here, you can't look me in the eyes very well. You're looking, well, that's not my eye. You're the hello, ladies. Um, you are not able to read anything this high. My point in the analogy is that the radiation readings at the site were so high that the meters they had couldn't even read it. An unprotected person standing close to the contaminated areas would, within hours, it says, receive a deadly dose of radiation. The Nuclear Regulation Authority said the radiation comprised mostly beta rays that could be blocked by aluminum foil, unlike penetrative gamma rays. Are people call my show the tinfoil hat brigade? <laughs> Tin foil protects against beta rays. Maybe the Tin Hat Society isn't so crazy. TEPCO's admission in August that about 300 tons, a ton is 2,000 pounds for you Lady Gaga fans, 300 tons of radioactive groundwater is escaping into the Pacific Ocean every day. Oh, but the radiation is not affecting the fish that you eat. It's just affecting the fish that everybody else eats because you have a protective barrier around you. 
escapes into the Pacific Ocean every day, and the more recent discovery of leaking storage tanks and pipes prompted the government to inject three million in to contain the water crisis. What they're going to try to do is freeze the ground around, because here's what they're doing. This is Fukushima. This is a hill. And the water is running into the plant. And, of course, the, it becomes the water that the people drink once it goes into the system. Anything past this is the ocean. They're going to stop the water coming down the hill by freezing the ground around it. Now, this has been done before, but it says that it's never been done to this level um, at an atomic facility. They also want to hold the Olympics in Tokyo. This is how greedy they are in the Japanese government. That is not to say the people. The people do not represent the government. Good Lord, please don't represent me by Obama. Uh, but the, the government is so corrupt that they want to bring people to, Fukush to, to Tokyo knowing that, one, it's not safe, knowing they lied about it to begin with, and that's been proven. Now, look in, look up Chris Busby. This is not Sam's opinion. Second of all, if a, if a really bad storm, which is very likely, were to hit Unit 4 and knock it over, everybody in Tokyo would receive a dose of radiation that would uh, at least ruin their quality of life for the rest of their life. And yet they want to hold the Olympics there. It's not an Olympics I'd go to. Um, Fukushima Diary. Uh, TEPCO's data shows they're to run out of tanks in the third week of November. Uh, I respect this man so much. But, I, uh, Machizuki, and make sure you go to FukushimaDiary.com. At the same time, I'm pretty sure we're going to make sure they get their tanks, but I do want to report on this. Um, Follow up on article, approximately 90% of the contaminated water tank is already full. Again, this is a translation, so if the, the words sound weird, I'm not drunk. I'm reading it like it's transcribed. Because I don't speak Japanese. On 9-4-2013, TEPCO released the data of the balance of the tank capacity and the current volume of stock contaminated water, which is concentrated salty water. The data shows that the increasing rate of the stocked water will get slower around the third week of this October. However, the reason is not announced, on the assumption that the increasing rate doesn't get slower for the unknown reason, TEPCO will run out of tanks around the third week of November. Uh, it says on uh, 8-5-2013, 2013 Fukushima Diary predicted that TEPCO will run out of the tanks. Uh, God willing, they won't get that under control. I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure TEPCO is going to release tons of radiation into the atmosphere for many reasons that are asinine. Hopefully that's not one of them, but uh, again, you can't get better information than the info you get from Fukushima Diary. Uh, and saying that, I've got one more from them. Um, contaminated groundwater penetration. Ten becquerels, cubic centimeters squared on the face of workers, part of the plant tap water turned off. And now, for those of you that don't know, a becquerel is one reaction per second. Ten becquerels per cubic centimeter squared is ten, ten reactions, ten nuclear tiny explosions in your body. And of course, when those explosions happen, they can turn into things like cancer and heart disease. Uh, and many more. Following up this article, dust monitoring alarm went off. Body cooling mist possibly contaminated Fukushima workers. That is to say, a cooling mist that comes down. Like, uh, for those of you that go to amusement parks, they have uh, when you're waiting in line so you don't melt. Those kind of uh, mists. TEPCO measured 10 becquerels per cubic centimeter squared of contamination on the face and the head of 10 workers at maximum. Of course, that means that they can have brain cancers. If you know Karen Silkward is, she said that uh, somebody had uh, some of this contamination on their head and their hair grew in hot, that is to say radiated, that is to say damaged for life. At 1340, in military time, of course, 8-12-2013, they turned off all the water, toilets, etc., in the seismic isolation building and reactor 5 and 6 because they share the same water source 
as the contaminated mist. It is not clear if it is also used for drinking water. You're not sure if it's used for drinking water. TEPCO is handling this. It's a disaster. Guys, this is Natural News Mike Adams. Fukushima now in a state of emergency, leaking 300 tons of radioactive water into the ocean daily. The water that your fish come from that you eat, the water that uh, byproducts of fast food are oftentimes made from fish. So don't just think because you don't eat seafood that you're going to be safe from this. Japan's nuclear watchdog <clears throat> has now declared the radioactive leak at Fukushima a state of emergency. Each day, as I reported, 300 tons of radioactive water going into the ocean. I believe it's been leaking into the ocean from the start of the crisis two and a half years ago, disclosed a 12-year TEPCO veteran named Suzaki-san, and it lists the source. There are still reactor buildings we haven't even gotten to, said another worker named Fujimoto-san, so there's always the possibility of another explosion. And I'm going to a covers here about how they got blasted with the uh, radiation while waiting on a bus from their mist. I just did that. Japan is a society that shuns whistleblowers. That's a big problem because it it helps TEPCO it helps TEPCO TEPCO's claim that they can just go ahead and handle this when everything that they've done this far has been a disaster. And it says here the Fukushima disaster is likely to get far worse if you can believe that. The upshot is that the Fukushima disaster is not only far worse than you've been told, it's very likely going to be worse than you could ever imagine. Now you know why I was singing at the beginning. Gallows humor. The radiation leak isn't plugged. In other words, and another explosion, which many experts believe might be imminent, would release thousands of times more nuclear material into an open environment. Ultimately, it says the entire Northern Hemisphere has been placed at risk by a bunch of corporate bureaucrats who thought that building a nuclear reactor in the path of a sure-to-happen tidal wave, and it was predicted way before uh, it happened, and TEPCO said it wouldn't, was a fantastic idea. Instead of acknowledging the problem and working to fix it like a responsible person would, our world is top politicians and ass coverers have decided it is in their best short-term interests to play along with TEPCO's fairy tale, which ridiculously pretends that radioactive leaks can be controlled by wishful thinking. Oh my god. For those of you that are not well, for those that are not still watching, there are a lot of people in this world that don't know. And for those of you that are still watching, you're hung on every word just like I was. Not because I'm some great warrior, but because this is this matters and people aren't talking about it. All right, guys, I got a few more stories I do want to mention. And please go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and click on Bud K. It'll be the ad on the right. When you do so and you purchase something from them, that helps the media speaks. And the correct views is a member of the media speaks. So when you help the media speaks, you help me. Uh, we are a team. We're a Voltron, if you will. And we, we count on you doing this to help us. Guys, they've got everything there. It's nine swords, ninja martial arts equipment, hunting and shooting, camping, survival, self-defense, and just cool stuff. I'm going to go to the cool stuff. I'm going to go to chess sets. Why? because I'm pretty sure nobody else on the media speaks has talked about them. Bud K's catalog, they've got like this shot glass tic-tac-toe drinking game set for $3.98. Come on, the next time you have a party, for $4 you got a chess drinking game. A, you can get drunk like a dummy. B, you can play chess with proofs that you actually do have a brain in your head. The Crusades chess pieces, that's 80 bucks for those of you that are core. Uh, the drinking glass chess set, they've got another one uh, in 1999. Guys, go to Bud K. Check it out. Enjoy it. Watch it. And help the media speak. So everything you buy, that's quality stuff. It wouldn't be on our site if it wasn't. All right, guys. FukushimaDiary.com also reported buoyancy of groundwater question mark. Two water reservoirs observed uplifted by 40 centimeters. So this is really bad news. Uh, for those of you that don't know, if the, the radio, well, 
the more radiation that gets into the groundwater, the more that water becomes what you make your coffee, your tea, your sake, your, you drink water, you bathe in it. And ultimately it all rains and the jet, the jet stream that washes over the ocean does bring all of this to our country. And I don't mean jet stream like jet airplanes for those of you. The way the world spins and we're bringing the radiation to us is what I mean. It's scientific fact. According to TEPCO, two contaminated water reservoirs were found uplifted by up to 40 centimeters. So if the ground's moving, the water is shifting, for those of you still following me. TEPCO found that on 8 10 2013 but didn't report it for three days. Well, they're so honest. The reason is not announced, we can only imagine. In order to stop the increasing groundwater, TEPCO built underground reservoirs. Since TEPCO found water leakage, they have not been used. The uplifted reservoirs, it says, <clears throat> are number three and number four. Number three has 30 centimeters to 20 centimeters area that is bulged. If this keeps bulging and swaying and it falls, guys, we're over. How's that? How's that for simple? We're done. This is commondreams.org. Dangerous operation at Fukushima's reactor number four could ignite atomic chain reaction. For those of you that don't know, that is a nuclear bomb without the boom. Threatening to trigger a new and possibly more devastating nuclear disaster than the original or ongoing one in Fukushima in Japan, a risky plan to remove, remove fuel rods from a damaged reactor building could unleash, uh, it says, unprecedented level of radiation, according to experts in thing, if things go wrong. Unprecedented, worse than Nagasaki, worse than Hiroshima, those ended World War II for you Usher fans, um, worse than the island we blew up testing the bombs. Un Unprecedented, as in unprecedented levels of cancer and heart disease and babies being deformed in the United States when it comes over on before mentioned jet stream. According to a reporting by Reuters, the radioactive material within the fuel rods slated for removal are equivalent to 14,000 times the amount released in the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, and the plan to move them has never been attempted before on this scale. It makes Chernobyl look like a dime. They, they can't do what they did to uh, Chernobyl, because Chernobyl wasn't sitting on the ocean, by the way. The 400 tons of highly irradiated spent fuel and other nuclear materials will be taken from the crippled building and moved to a safer location. <clears throat> but the manner of the operation should be put in serious doubt, say the experts. They are going to have difficulty in removing a significant number of the rods, said Arnie Gunderson, a veteran U.S. nuclear engineer and director of Fairwinds Education. The fuel rods are being stored in a cooling pool, but if the reaction begins, Gunderson expressed concerns to Reuters about the company's ability <clears throat> to respond. This is what your voice sounds like when you forget to bring water for yourself. To jump to the conclusion that it is going to work just fine, he said, is quite a leap of logic. It goes on, there is a risk of an inadvertent criticality if the bundles are distorted or get too close to each other, he said. The problem with the fuel port criticality is that you can't stop it. There are no control rods to control it. The spent fuel cooling system is designed only to remove decay heat, not heat from an ongoing reaction, which is to say a, a further meltdown of bigger proportions. Now TEPCO is going to be doing this impossible Herculean task when they failed all the way along the way. <clears throat> With that in mind, the last thing I'm going to get to before tomorrow, it's been about a half hour. TEPCO, letting TEPCO clean up Fukushima is like letting a murderer do brain surgery on the vice president. Washington's blog. 
If an incompetent doctor killed numerous patients during routine surgery and then lied and tried to cover it up, would you let him perform brain surgery on a VIP such as the President? Of course not. So why are we letting TEPCO remove the fuel rods from Fukushima? TEPCO has an abysmal track record. Engineers warned TEPCO and the Japanese government many years before the accident. Link is here for proof that the reactors were seismically unsafe and an earthquake could wipe them out, which they did. The Fukushima reactors were fatally damaged before the tsunami hit. The earthquake took them out before the tidal wave hit. That matters because that means since we have nuclear reactors built exactly the same way in the United States, that if an earthquake of that magnitude were to happen here, we know what to look forward to. It was not the tidal wave that did it. An official Japanese government investigation concluded that the Fukushima accident was a man-made disaster caused by collusion between government and TEPCO and bad reactor design. That is fascism meets nuke. TEPCO knew right after 2011 accident that the, that the three nuclear reactors had lost containment, which meant it meltdown, that the nuclear fuel had gone missing, oh it's just missing, and that there was in fact no real containment at all. TEPCO has desperately been trying to cover this up for two and a half years, it said, instead pretending that the reactors were in cold shutdown. That means safe. They are not in cold shutdown. They are melting into the air for all of us to breathe. Southern Hemisphere is somewhat safe. A TEPCO has admitted that it's known for two years that massive amounts of radioactive water are leaking into the groundwater and into the Pacific Ocean. At first, they denied it. They have no financial incentive to fix things, they're only pretending to clean it, and there's many links here for that. And uh, TEPCO's recent attempts to solidify the ground under the reactors using chemicals has backfired horribly. Another link. An NBC News notes TEPCO is considering freezing the ground, I reported on that, We're, we can only hope. And they're going to attempt the quite equivalent, it says, of brain surgery on the president, specifically as we noted in 2012. Now, the greatest short-term threat to humanity is from the fuel pools at Fukushima. If one of the pools collapsed or caught fire, it could have severe adverse impacts on the United States. Indeed, a senator called it a national, a national security concern for the U.S. The radiation caused by the failure of the spent fuel pools in the event of another earthquake could reach the west coast of the United States within days on top of the radiation that is already wafting over. That absolutely makes the safe containment and protection of the spent fuel security issue for the U.S. So instead of dorking around in Syria where we have no business, maybe we should go and make sure that they know what the hell they're doing in Japan since we built their reactors. Nuclear expert Arnie Gunderson and physician Holland Caldecott have both said that people should evacuate the northern hemisphere if the Fukushima fuel pools collapses. That means if, if it falls over, you go south of the hemisphere, below Mexico, or you die. It's, I'm not playing. Arnie Gunderson, Helen Caldecott, this is in Sam's words. Move south of the equator if that ever happened. I think that's probably the lesson here, said Arnie Gunderson. Former UN advisor, it goes on, Akeo Matsumura calls removing the radioactive materials from Fukushima's pools an issue of human survival. So we're going to let Fukushima do this. I mean, going to let TEPCO do this. The operator of the plant is preparing to remove the radiation, it says it's from Reuters. It is 14,000 times the amount released in the bomb attack on Hiroshima. There are 1,300 used fuel rod assemblies packed tightly together. And this article goes on. You're going to want to go to it. So what's the bottom line? I'm going to get to it. Top scientists and government officials say that TEPCO should be removed from all efforts to stabilize Fukushima. An international team of the smartest scientists should handle this difficult surgery. God bless the author. Uh, note 1. Americans should not assume that we can't have any effect on internal Japanese politics. It is the American government, it says, which is calling the shots in terms of Japanese nuclear policy and has been for many decades. Note 2. The situation is identical to the financial crisis, mass surveillance by the NSA and other scandals. Specifically, it says, 
No amount of debate can fix the problem. If we don't fire the people who caused the problems in the first place, that is TEPCO, GE, and have no motivation of fixing things, then they will never get fixed. Guys, that is the first half of your massive September Fukushima update. I'll be doing another one tomorrow. I don't know when the high def is going to post because it takes me a minute to use the same computer to render that I do to record. I will do my best, but they will be up. Uh, good night, friends. You're listening to The Correct View. Sam I.B. reporting for the Media Speaks. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Check out the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. Many written articles from all of us as well. Um, donate to the Charity Connection if you can and help Miss Mowgli Christ beat lung cancer. God bless, friends. Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct View. Sam I.B. reporting for The Media Speaks. Alright guys, we're going to go right into it because of the, the ultra high def camera, I should say, is limited on uh, juice power here. I'm going to try to get both high def versions up as quickly as I can. It does take a while to render. Um, the other camera is up and running for my live friends uh, on the Media Speaks. Thanks for watching. Uh, I said if someone left a comment asking for me to sing uh, the entire Paragon song by Skinny Puppy, that I would. I got two replies, a one message and one from D Lake that want me to do it, and I am going to go ahead as sometime this weekend, God willing, or within the next week, I will be singing Skinny Puppy's Paragon, just because I was told I should do so after the last video. Alright guys, um, I'm going to start with some a quote, because a lot of people don't know what radiation is, and I sit here and I try to tell you, and I'm some guy with long hair and tattoos and you don't listen to me, I'm going to go ahead and let... Uh, I think it's from the History Channel. I am not plagiarizing. Fair use copyright laws. YouTube does allow you to use things for educational purposes. This is not my work. It is the work of the History Channel. They do a wonderful job of uh, right out here just literally describing why all of this matters so much. So I'm going to let Christelle zoom in on this. Uh, if you're not zooming in, that means you're not on the ultra high def. That will be posted on the correct views. Um, God willing, it will be. Alright, uh, guys, I'm going to let you listen to this. Before I start our Fukushima update, this is what radiation does. I bend forward and I'm taking some notes when I suddenly look up as if something had bitten me. The instrument in the bottom row, the indicator for the primary cooling system, shows that there is zero pressure. An instant ago, it had shown 200 atmospheres. There is a malfunction in the reactors. Now, friends, this is a nuclear submarine. This isn't a nuclear reactor. But they do exactly the same things. Eight men volunteer to enter the reactor compartment for emergency repairs. They just said, everything's okay, everything's okay. They were so busy that they had no time to think of the consequences. But of course they knew they were exposed to a deadly dose. Everyone knows the men who saved their comrades' lives by repairing the system will not outlive their heroic deed. It gets worse. Their necks were so swollen that their shoulders began at their ears. But that wasn't all. Their vocal cords were damaged. Their voices had totally changed. They sounded strange, like dwarves with a falsetto. Due to the radiation, their faces were unrecognizable. Swollen so badly, they looked as if they'd been attacked by wasps. The skin on their faces was dark red, the color of old bricks. But following the makeshift repair, 
Now, I don't want uh, Christelle, by the way, doing wonderful camera work here. I'm going to let her zoom me back in if she starts talking to me or need me, needs me to move, and that's why. Guys, that is what radiation does to you. And I'm not going to play the whole thing. I, I don't want to, to plagiarize this work. It is not my work. It is the work of the History Channel. My point is, that's what radiation does. And the way they died... Like, you're wondering how they died? I can tell you how they died. He says that they, the same man, later on in the video, says they bled out of every orifice in their body. Uh, just a little bit. Can you pad this side? Just, yep, perfect. Christelle doing an amazing job with the zoom here. All right, guys, that yeah. is... <laughs> that is exactly what radiation does to you. So now that I've got your attention, let's get some radiation facts, shall we? Um... This is from NBCNews.com. Japan to spend nearly five mil 500 million to contain radioactive water at the Fukushima plant. This is by uh, William Mallard from Reuters, Tokyo. Japan government plans to spend nearly 500 million to deal with mounting amounts of radioactive water at Tokyo Electric Power Company's erect Fukushima nuclear power plant, the country's industry minister said Tuesday. The government will spend most of that building a wall of frozen earth around the wrecked reactors. I talked about that yesterday. Uh, they're going to try to prevent the groundwater from being mixed with the infected water from the cooling units. Um, the rest will be spent on upgrading water treatment systems to reduce the amount of contaminated water that is building up at the site and threatening to overwhelm cleanup efforts after the worst nuclear crisis since Chernobyl of 1986. And the point is, it's worse than Chernobyl was in 1986, and I don't think that can be stressed enough. The other thing that matters is this issue of freezing the ground. You know, they are going to take between 30 to 45 years to be able to clean this up, and it takes one more really nice storm to destroy all of this equipment, by the way. They're on a hill, the water is coming downhill, and it's getting infected. And radioactive water does what that gentleman just told you. Tokyo Electric, known as TEPCO, said Monday that it found another spike in radiation near levels near a contaminated water tank at the plant, which was destroyed, of course, by the big earthquake. No cause to worry. Measurable radiation from leaking water is confined to the harbor around the plant, Mategi said. And there should be no impact on other countries because the radiation will be so diluted by the ocean that it is not an environmental threat. There is no cause for athletes or visitors of Tokyo to worry, the minister said. No, Lady Gaga said it was fine. Never mind the fact that she's got a head like a pumpkin. TEPCO is storing enough contaminated water to fill more than 130 Olympic-sized swimming pools, mostly in hastily built tanks that officials have said may spring further leaks. How much is one Olympic-sized swimming pool? You got a gold ring, you got some gold jewelry, maybe some gold nose ring, who knows? If you took all the gold that was in the world, there would barely be enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. That's, that's known fact. All the gold in the world. TEPCO is storing enough contaminated water to fill more than 130 Olympic-sized swimming pools. What does radioactive water do? How did I start my show? The water containment measures do not address the full problem of water management at the crippled plant. Do not remove uncertainty about the fate of TEPCO, Japan's largest power company. They have been a disaster with this. Uh, this is from Infowars.com. Latest Fukushima radiation leak is called a national emergency. And this is August 20th, so it's tad old, but it's still important enough for me to include, and you will see why. Yahio Sato, uh, Y-U-H... E.I. Sato, S-A-T-O, I like the song. The governor of the Fukushima prefecture in Japan has described a massive leak from a radioactive water storage tank at the stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant as a national emergency. I would say an international emergency. Who's with me? The Tokyo Electric Power Company said approximately 300 tons of the deadly water had leaked into the tanks. We all know that by now. That's an infamous number. They said the leaks are continuing and the operator has yet to pinpoint the source of the leak. Uh, now, of course, it's been updated. They're claiming that it's because the, the tanks were not built to be perfectly waterproof, meaning the ceiling or the way they're welded. 
how much foresight does it take to see this? I mean, this is the kind of thing you just assume that they were ordered to the highest specs, and friends, that's just not the case. This means that you are exposed to a level of radiation in one hour that a nuclear plant worker is allowed to be exposed to in five years, a TEPCO, TEPCO spokesman told a press conference according to Reuters. And they admitted the toxic water may eventually contaminate groundwater and flow into the Pacific Ocean in a longer term. The groundwater is what we drink. The groundwater makes up the rain, and because of the jet stream, which I described yesterday, the jet stream will bring that poison water to us. And there have been, they use depleted uranium in uh, Fallujah, and half, 50%, half of the children in Fallujah have birth defects. There's uranium in some of these reactors that have been spewing poison in the air since March of 2011. We are transferring the contaminated water from a tank where they leak each problem to unbroken tanks and are retrieving leaked water and soil around it. Friends, this, this, is, this is much worse than is being reported on. And I mean, it's just story after story now. Mainstream media has finally picked up on it. MyFoxDC.com, for instance. Dolphin deaths increased to 160 in Virginia. Virginia Beach, Virginia, the number of mysterious dolphin deaths has increased to more than 160. Well, what could possibly be in the water, like radiation, that could kill a dolphin? Now, the Atlantic is the opposite ocean. The opposite ocean. Media outlets report additional dolphins were found along Virginia's coast Monday. Of course, this is August 20th. Uh, that puts the death in August at more than 70, uh, more than the annual average. For I mean, it's one month uh, buried a whole year's uh, usual. The Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center reports that 25 dolphin corpses were discovered on Friday and Saturday. Stranded dolphins are turning up in other places, in other states on the East Coast. It goes on that it's estimated the deadliest period of the sea mammals since a virus killed off more than 700 in the 1980s. Scientists are struggling to find the cause of the death. It isn't clear whether an infectious disease is causing the death. But scientists are warning those who find stranded dolphins to stay away and contact the authorities. All right, how many of you out there are uh, news hounds like I am? Some of you, can you get me radioactive readings on these mystery dolphin deaths? I wonder what their cesium count was, strontium, plutonium, uranium, uh, that kind of thing. There are people that can get this done. Um, listening to me who are much smarter than me, maybe have better connections than me, what can we do? You give it to me and I will report it. Is there a connection? I certainly hope not because, again, this is the Atlantic Ocean, not the Pacific, which we already know is deadly. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, click on Bud K. It'll be the uh, ad on the right. They have everything there. I'm going to go to some of the... Uh, you ever like somebody who you want to buy a gift for and they own everything? You can't find them anything cool? You can here. It's like odd, cool stuff. The Undead Apocalypse Katana Samurai Sword. Uh, there are seven levels of sword mastery in Hoshin Soul. Uh, I completed level one and had to get out of it due to scheduling. But um, a shout out to Victory Asian Arts. Bud K has awesome samurai swords. So I do have a little bit of training in this. I'm not just yapping to sell you something. These are, these are really good swords. They've got a, a Shinawa Black Knight Black Cord Damascus Ninja Katana Sword for $99.98. And that is the real deal. Uh, you want the real? We got more real. Uh, the Shinwa Regea Katana Town Sword Damascus, $129. Normally $170 at every other site you're going to go to. If you're not all that core, you just want something kind of cool, you know what I mean? You don't want to spend a fortune. This isn't what you're uh, way into. We've got uh, the U.S. Marine 1942 Leather Neck Sword and the Sheath, the Quiver. It's uh, $29.99. So do me a favor. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com, click on the button. Okay, add it. Look up those things that I've shown you and many more. You will love it. Washington's blog, West Coast of Af West Coast of North America, will be hit hard by the Fukushima radiation. 
Oh, but Sam, the Fukushima thing doesn't matter. It's in Japan. It's not going to hurt the U.S., right? An ocean current called the North Pacific Gyre, Gyre, G-Y-R-E, is bringing Japanese radiation to the west coast of North America. If you live on the west coast of America, move! Can I be clearer? While many people assume that the ocean will dilute the Fukushima radiation, a previously secret U.S. government report concluded that the ocean may not adequately dilute radiation from nuclear accidents and there could be pockets and streams of highly concentrated radiation. Nuclear water, what, how did I start the show? What's it do? The University of Hawaii's International Pacific Research Center created a graphic following the project of dispersion. It is dreadful. It swarms the entire west coast of the country. Do not eat anything from California. No California raisins. Don't eat anything from the entire area. If it says that, leave it sitting on the shelf. It is death in a bag. Last year, scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory, and three scientists from GMR, Research Center for Marine Geosciences, showed that radiation on the west coast of America could end up being ten times higher than it is in Japan. No, it's not going to be as bad as it is for the people in Japan. It's going to be worse. I lied to you all this time. I remember how bad I told you it was good. It's ten times worse. After 10 years, the concentration becomes homogenous over the whole Pacific, with higher values in the east, extending along the North American coast with a maximum 1 times 2 to the negative 4th of Baja, California. With, that, with caution given to the various ideolations, and it goes on to explain exactly how that's going to happen. I'm not going to read you all the math, but if you want to know the math, it's in the article. I will, I will do this bit of math. The half-life of cesium-137 is so long that it produces more damage to humans. Uh, it says in the article, Figure 4 gives the examples of the distribution of the impact strength of cesium-137, and it's really bad. Our, our country is part of the red zone. It is worse than the meltdown is in Japan for the people who are in Japan. That's what's on the way to the United States. That's if something else doesn't happen to, to make it worse. That's just based on what's happened already. Please move from Hawaii and the west coast of the United States. Or worsen and lessen your life. Make your children sick. Make your family sick. Get sick yourself. InfiniteUnknown.net Professor Chris Busby, TEPCO might have to pour water on Fukushima wreckage forever. Professor Chris Busby from the European Committee on Radiation Risks for RT, Fukushima is a nightmare disaster area, and no one has the slightest idea what to do. The game is to prevent the crippled nuclear plant from turning into an open-air super reactor spectacular, which would result in a hazardous, melted catastrophe. On April 25th, 2011, one month after the explosion at the Fukushima plant it goes on, and the anniversary of Chernobyl, I was interviewed by RT and asked to compare Chernobyl and Fukushima. The clip, which you can see on YouTube, was entitled, Can't Seal Fukushima Like Chernobyl. It all goes into the sea. Since then, huge amounts of radioactivity have flowed from the reactors directly into the Pacific Ocean. Attempts to stop the flow of contaminated water from the Fukushima plant into the sea were always unlikely to succeed. Always. They knew. It is like trying to push water uphill. Now they all seem to have woken up to the issue and have begun to panic. I'm going to read some more of this. The problem is this. The fission process in a reactor creates huge amounts of heat. Of course, there is a whole point to the machine. The heat makes the steam which runs the turbines. Water is pumped through channels between the fuel rods and this cools them and heats the water. If there is no water, or the channels are locked, the heat actually melts the fuel into a big blob which falls into the bottom of the steel vessel in which it occurs, the pressure vessel, and then melts its way through the steel into the ground and down into China. Well, not China in this case, but actually Buenos Aires, Argentina. In other words, it melts straight through the earth, which is an analogy. I want to read some more. It's, it's that important. It's Chris Busby. When Chris Busby speaks, we listen. 
I have been keeping an eye on developments and it is quite clear that the reactors are no longer containing the molten fuel, some proportion of which is now in the ground beneath them. Both the material of the remaining material in what was the containment are very hot and are fissioning. TEPCO is quite aware, and so is everyone else in the know, that the only hope of preventing what could become an open-air super reactor spectacular is to cool the fuel, the lumps of fuel distributed throughout the system, mainly in the hold pressure vessels and also in the spent fuel tanks and in the ground under the reactors. This all is fissioning, that is to say creating uh, cancerous elements for, all to breathe, for us all to breathe in. It's all fissioning away merrily, though at a low level, it's clear from the occasional reports of short half-life nucleides in radioxenons. The game is to prevent it all turning into an open-air reactor located somewhere under the ground. In other words, there's nothing, not much you can do about it then. To do this, they have to pump vast amounts of water into the reactors, the fuel pond, and generally all over the area where they think that the stuff is or might be. This means seawater, since luckily they are near the sea. But they are also unlikely to be near the sea, since you cannot pump the sea onto the land without it wanting to flow back into the sea. It talks about uh, the radionuclides uh, that are, um, that said a lot of the radioactive elements are soluble in water. The, the, case, the cesiums, the strontiums, the barium, the radium, the lead, the ruthians, and the rubiums. Silvers, mercuries, carbons, and tritiums, iodines, and noble gases like krypton and xenons. Uh, there's also a likelihood that the normally unsoluble uraniums, plutoniums, and neptoniums will dissolve in seawater to some extent because of the chloride oxides. If they don't, the micron and nanoparticles of these materials will disperse in the water as colloidal suspensions. So a lot of the stuff gets into the sea. Of course, most of the fuss is being made by Americans who are on the other side of the Pacific. Now this is some good news. How unfair that the U.S. should suffer from the Japanese affair, they think. And also, they fear the level underneath it all. It is perhaps why the crap, crappy reactors blew up. We built them. Um, he's saying that uh, he doesn't think the West Coast is going to be hit by everything as badly as uh, initially feared. But again, I just reported that uh, science has shown that it's going to be at least ten times as bad. It's still a death factory, people. It says, look at, let's look at the number. 400 tons of seawater a day are flowing into the sea. That is 400 cubic meters. In one year, that's 146,000 cubic meters. That is a pond 10 meters deep and 120 meters square. This will have to go on forever, and a new pond will have to be there every year, unless they can get the radioactive material out. But here is the other problem. They can't get close enough because the radiation levels are too high. The water itself is lethally radioactive. Gamma radiation levels tens of meters from the water are enormously high. No one, no one can approach them without being fried. Um, He mentions again just that he doesn't think that California is going to be juiced as badly as some of us feared from some things that are water soluble and nuclear. That does not mean the other radionuclides. Now, there's a lot more science in that. Go to it, people. Go to it and read it. I don't want to lose my people that aren't into it as deeply as uh, some of us are. That is the infinite unknown. Uh, some more easy layman terms ones uh, coming right here. Uh, PrisonPlanet.com uh, posted this from RT. Serious Japan hikes in Fukushima radiation danger level. Japan will drastically raise the gravity of the latest Fukushima leak to level 3, which is considered a serious radiation incident, in the international nuclear event scale for radiological releases. Uh, that means uh, many times you'll hear that it's a, the initial release was a 7 on a scale of 1 to 7. Also, uh, Chernobyl was that high. I want to say that uh, Three Mile Island was a five. Uh, like it's as bad as they can get. Fukushima had a seven. Now they've had a separate release, which is as strong as a three. Judging from the amount and the density of the radiation in the contaminated water that leaked, a level three assessment is appropriate, read the document using Wednesday's weekly meeting at the Nuclear Regulatory Authority Commissioners. Earlier on Tuesday, TEPCO reported that another tank with highly radioactive water had leaked at the crippled nuclear plant. 
the NRA first classified the leak as a level 1 anomaly. The contaminated water contains an unprecedented 80 million becquerels of radiation per liter compared to the normal level of around 150 becquerels per liter. One becquerel is one nuclear reaction that happens in your body. Each nuclear reaction can cause cancer. And that is one reaction per second, let me clarify. 80 million becquerels of radiation per liter. This is considered to be the most serious setback to date for the cleanup from the worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl. Yeah, because you can't work around levels that high without dying. And they're paying them the equivalent of $10 an hour to do this. So you're not going to get that many people uh, as this goes on and as people start dropping dead. The increase to level 3 will be formally adopted later on Wednesday, which it was, after a meeting that is currently underway, a spokesman that told Reuters. It's the first time Japan has issued an INS rating for Fukushima since the accident, which was caused by a massive earthquake, of course it was. Um, the most dangerous level 7 has only been applied twice, to the Chernobyl catastrophe in 86 and the Fukushima plant. Leakage of radiation, it says, contaminated water has been a major threat to Japan's population, where they want to hold the Olympics and environment from the very beginning of the Fukushima disaster.